Good morning and welcome to day three. And the pig, because it parts the hoof and is cloven-footed but does not chew the cud, is unclean to you. So Jews were forbidden from eating pork, ham, bacon. So are we supposed to follow that? How do you make sense of all the Old Testament laws? Uh, today, should I be thinking of them? Uh, should I try and obey them? And if not all of them, which ones? Well, those are great questions, and there are accurate answers to help us. And so we look to the Word of God. As I shared briefly in Sunday's teaching from John 8, we read one of God's civil laws for Israel, Leviticus 20.10. If a man commits adultery with his neighbor's wife, both the man and the woman who have committed adultery must be put to death. Ouch. In our day, we'd have a lot of stonings, wouldn't we? Or maybe we would have a lot less adultery. After all, that was the purpose of the law, to rest restrain evil, harmful behavior that was offensive to God and violated his holiness. Interesting, in some parts of the world, they do still stone adulterers. But we don't. As Christians, we understand that the civil laws listed in Scripture were actually specifically designated for the nation of Israel as they walked in covenant with God. But our nation is not in covenant with God. And we're under America's civil laws, so we obey them. And hopefully, you are a law-abiding citizen. We obey as unto the Lord. But what about God's ceremonial laws uh, that went into great detail about what was clean and unclean and detailed the grain offering, burn offering, peace offering, sin offerings. Well, those were all part of the Old Covenant agreement as God's chosen people participated in temple worship and animal sacrifice. So do we obey those? Well, no. We can glean insights from them and consider practices that would be healthy for us but those came to an end when Jesus sacrificed his life on the cross. The ceremonial laws ended at that time. So what's left? God's moral laws. Uh, they're summarized in the Ten Commandments. Uh, Jesus expounded on them as he taught, and we are to know them and obey them. Jesus also taught that obedience is a heart issue. So how does our heart get to the place of desiring obedience and the power to follow through and obey. Well, the scriptures teach us that we're not governed by the law of sin and death, but by the law of the spirit of life. In salvation, we're set free from the law of sin and death. The law shows us the reality and the righteousness of the holy God who created us. The laws show us our sin and how we fall short of the glory of the one true God. The laws show us our need for a savior, and they point us to the savior whom God sent, Jesus, to save us from our sin. And when by his grace he saves us, forgives us, cleanses us, he imparts into us his spirit. We become the temples of the Holy Spirit. And the law of the spirit is the new reality that he leads and governs our lives from within. We don't live by the letter of the law, even though we know those laws and follow them, uh, we live by the law of the Spirit who empowers us to desire to obey God and to do His will. And listen what happens with the Spirit. Galatians 5, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there's no law, meaning there's no law against those things. They are the will of God, the character of Christ, the fruit of the Spirit that is cultivated in our character. Continuing, and those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let's keep in step with the Spirit. So we live lives led by the Holy Spirit, and He leads us to obey. So today, be filled with, be led by, God's Spirit. Learn to keep in step with, in tune with, in touch with the Spirit. And He will help us, remind us, empower us to obey. We don't keep in touch with all the laws. 
we keep in tune with the Spirit, and He leads us. May He do so today. Let's pray. Lord, today, fill us, lead us with your Spirit. May the fruit and gifts of the Spirit flow in us and through us. And thank you for the law of the Spirit that now governs our lives. We love you, Lord. And now, offer your prayers. God bless you.